imagine how good would it be to win the lottery now imagine winning big time like if you win 200 300 million dollars how much of a difference that could make in your life right now it's such a big number that it's almost hard to comprehend what you could do with that money in your bank account all of a sudden but i'm sure that you've also heard that big number that 70 percent of people who win the lottery win big lottery money end up going back broke to where they started in a few years after winning there's also other study that shows that people are less happy that people are miserable that some people end up depressed after winning the lottery so it begs the question why is this why is it that after winning such a big life-changing amount of money people don't make the best of it but here is a better question how do we actually know that this is true this fact i just gave you this story i just gave you how do we know it's not fabricated how do we know it's common truth well the truth here is that the start of 70 percent people go broke after winning the lottery is wrong it's false it's fabricated it's actually a number that's been blown out of proportion by media by newspapers that were covering some stories of people losing money and being unhappy because yes that exists but according to real studies and i'm gonna quote you know some uh, article here and research and study that actually shows that out of thousand people surveyed after winning big amount of money in the lottery most of them report that this actually improved dramatically their life even decades after isn't this interesting isn't this interesting that this perceived truth that circulate all over the internet very often is actually rubbish is actually bullshit now why am i even telling you this how does that even matter to your life because here's a better question how many others belief fact truth that we take for you know truth and so on is actually fabricated trash is actually non-truth is actually nowhere close to the facts and how is that actually affecting your life your result your well-being your wealth your health because those assumptions those stories that we take and that we create as belief affect our life results because it affects our mood our attitude our perception our decisions the way we do what we don't do and so it affects our life and shape our community and shape our society at large because an assumption even if it's not true just like the example i gave you if you repeat it often enough and if you you know just show some of those examples it will stick and it will become truth and that truth will start to change and affect the perception of people now you may be like well that doesn't matter i never won the lottery so how is that relevant to me because another better question is what are the stories the personal stories that you have about yourself about your limits about who you are about your identity your capability your your body and everything that you can do in your life how many of those beliefs and stories that you believe are true are just made up assumptions that you made up that you were told that you were taught maybe a long time ago and that you never question and that you live by and that shape your reality because we live what we believe and so those stories those subconscious beliefs shape your perception shape the way you think feel the way you perceive reality the way you perceive yourself the way you make decisions the way you think and go about things in your life so what is the price of having some of those beliefs in your life that is a very important question what is your four minute mile buyer because think about that guy roger bannister before him everybody had a belief it cannot be done it's not humanly possible to run that fast to make it happen and then that guy was beyond that story and he made it and in less than a few weeks after that some other people all of a sudden decided that well if he did it i can do it too and then the world was never the same you know like we, we, we shattered a big paradigm and since then it's been beaten and beaten and beaten so what is your four minute story i remember stories i used to tell myself about being too tall about being shy about lacking confidence all those stories that i had fabricated over time that became part of my identity that i really believed in were in fact the biggest limitation i had in my life and had a disastrous price and effect on my life 
socially, physically, my well-being, my confidence, what I was doing, what I was not doing in my life. And I can tell you that after working with a lot of people, our belief can really cost us a lot. I can tell you about a client that had a subconscious story of one event where a dad told her, you look ugly in that dress. And from then she created a subconscious belief that I'm not attractive, that I'm ugly, that I'm not beautiful. And that followed her for decades, decades of feeling insecure, decades of feeling shy, decades of trying to overcompensate to really appear beautiful, to appear like, to appear in a certain way simply because of a belief that was created out of an experience that was not based on fact or truth, but that was purely subjective. Or another person who was told by her mom that women in the family are just fact is our genetic. Now imagine the price of that belief. Imagine the limitation of that belief until she decided to shatter that belief and starting losing weight and breaking that cycle. Because where was the truth? There was no truth. When I asked her, have you ever done a genetic test that proved that to be a fact? Or is it just a passed out story because of the excuses and the lifestyle that the woman in your family have? And when you start to shatter those beliefs and when you start to shatter and question those stories, you will find that very fast they crumble. And when they start to crumble, it starts to free you from keep on living bounded by those stories and those beliefs. And so in a sense, you break your own four minute mile barrier and you open up the possibility in life. And another big area, for example, where we have a lot of stories where it's loaded is money. Think about, I can tell you about all the stories and the belief I got told about money. Money is the root of evil. Money doesn't grow as a tree. It's hard to make money. Rich people are greedy. If you have money, people will judge you. People will leave you. People won't like you. I mean, imagine, and if you look at all the movies, it's always a rich person who is somehow trying to fuck up the world, right? It's always going to be one of those antagonistic, super rich person who's going to mess up everything. So we have constantly bombarded with negative propaganda that's trying to show us why being poor and having less is better, is more humble. And you may question that, right? Fairly so, but just pay attention in your life what you were taught about money, what you're still telling yourself subconsciously around money, and notice if the quality is negative, how is that affecting you, your wealth, your abundance, the opportunity that comes to your life, and how you act and respond with money? Because as long as you hold on to those stories, those stories will continue to affect your result. And so a good question to ask yourself is what is the price of all those stories, all those beliefs that I took in my life, that I absolutely believe, that I never questioned, that are limiting me in so much in my life? How much is it costing me in my health, in my wealth, in my relationships and other areas of my life? Because the moment you start to question those stories, the moment you start to question those beliefs, and you ask yourself, where does it come from? Who told me about it? How do I know it's true? You often come up with one of those answers, well, people say, or people have told me. And then you'll know that this is one of the biggest red flags telling you it's complete garbage. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. All you have to do is a little bit of self reflection to simply notice whether those stories are true or whether they're just assumption turned into fact and what is the price because the only question is not whether it's good bad right wrong we can debate that all day the only question is are those stories are those beliefs working for you and what you want to create in your life let me know what you think down in a comment about this video guys as always make sure you hit that subscribe button to help me grow this beautiful channel. I will see you next time. Be well.